the Son God, not Jesus Christ, not our Lord Jesus Christ, but the Son God. Okay, let's also let's get a, another chapter about um, uh, this idol God. If we go over to Isaiah 45 and verse 22, and it tells us, Look unto me, and be ye saved, all the ends of the earth. For I am God, and there is none else. Okay? Now, the Bible telling us, told us back in chapter 44, when God said himself, he don't know another God. And now, verse 22 is saying, look unto me, and be saved, all the ends of the earth. Our Lord Jesus Christ, he wants everybody to be saved in these last times. Okay? And he says that he is God. And that there is none else. So Santa Claus, he's a make-believe character. The Christmas tree, it's an idol. The Bible condemns it once again in Jeremiah chapter 10, verses 1 through 6. The sun god itself, which everybody is celebrating on December 25th, is an idol. It's only one God, one Lord, and his name is Jesus. Everybody, Cable 8, the land of YouTube, and Facebook. It's one Lord, and his name is Jesus. And he told us himself in the, in the Bible that he does not know another guy and that there is, there is any other guy but him. All right? Now, history goes on and um, tells us about um, St. Nicholas during the time when Diocetian was the emperor of Rome. Saint, it's said that St. Nicholas, he would not bow down and worship this God, worship this man as a God. So it's said that St. Nicholas was thrown in prison, and he was in prison for five years, and he suffered from hunger and thirsty. But it said that he was never he was never moved from his belief. Now this man, this false, this false doc, this false preacher man, was known not to be moved off his beliefs. But we as church believers, okay, we know the way. And the Bible tells us that we should that we should be a light, okay? Because we are a light that shine in this world, holding forth the doctrine of the gospel. Now, if this man wouldn't move, wasn't moved off his belief, now we as church believers, now why should we be moved off our beliefs when the Bible condemns the tree, condemns Christmas itself? Okay? So it tells us, it goes on, that that's how Santa Claus came about. It tells us that the early history said that the Dutch settlers derived St. Nicholas' name to Santa Claus, and which is today he is still known by Santa Claus as today. Okay? Early history um, tells us that Nicholas, his coat, spread it all through um, through the north and it was adopted by the German pagans and it said that the German pagans they worship uh, a group of gods and worship a group of gods and and it was known that Santa Claus okay he later became he later became moved all his um, Mediterranean clothes and start putting on a red suit. A red suit. Now, give you history about where did um, this saying about Santa Claus was coming down a, ch a chimney. Okay? History tells us that the first belief that Santa Claus came in homes through a chimney, it was first developed from an old Norse legend. And it was said that that Norse believed that goddess Herta appeared in the fireplace and brought good luck to homes. So that's where it all began about Santa Claus coming down through chimneys. And that's another mythology saying, because no man can come down a chimney, come down a chimney with a big bag of toys and give gifts to every kid, every kid in the world. And also it tells us that St. Nicholas was known by Santa Claus. He died on December 6, 340 A.D. 
So this man today is very popularized as today and known by Santa Claus, a big jolly man giving gifts to children, okay, to brighten up their spirit, okay, to make them happy. But uh, I'm very imposed that on December 25th, why do people all over the world have to wait one day to show their love and give gifts to their families and to their children? But we as, we as church believers and everybody all over the world, we are already blessed. Now, toys, giving kids toys one day in December 25th doesn't mean, doesn't mean that you're not blessed. We are all blessed with good health, and he blessed us to see another day. Our Lord Jesus Christ blessed us to see another day. And that these Christmas customs, we shouldn't do it. And it's all once again you're worshiping that sun god on the on the, the day of December twenty fifth. Okay. Now next we're going over to talking about how the history of the exchanges of Christmas gifts. Now people all over the world, everybody love to receive gifts. You know gifts that's wrapped up in. Saran wrap wrapped up in you know Christmas decorating wrap and like to present and like to have gifts and and to give and um, but people um, the history uh, tells us that people today believe that tradition of giving gifts it started all started back when Jesus Christ was born and that the three wise men brought the gifts to the Christ child and to honor him. So let's talk about the origin and the history of how did the exchange of gifts come about in um, today's society. Um, the history tells us that the origin of gift giving started back in the fourth century, okay, and it pretty much once again uh, gift giving started back with Saint Nicholas who is known by Santa Claus and Saint Nicholas, okay, he was a, a generous, he was a generous person who liked to give gifts to children from all backgrounds, and so that they can feel that they can have, so they can, uh, so he can brighten their spirits, and that they needed to savor their childhood, okay. So, and it tells us that the types of gifts that Saint Nicholas did give to these children, they was. Um, stated that he gave them sweaters, um, dresses, nightgowns, food, and oranges, okay? Now, history does tell us that by the 10th century, every country began to participate in this gift exchanging. In the 10th century, so everybody that was in the world started exchanging gifts to one another. But now, um, in one article, which is known by the history of today, it was stated that giving of presents at the middle, at the mid-winter began as a social custom. And also in the book called Discovering Christmas Customs and Folklores, it was said that gift giving at Christmas finds its roots in the ancient pagans celebrating of Saturnalia in which the Romans would exchange gifts. So exchanging gifts came from Santa Claus and from a pagan festival known as Saturnalia. They would exchange gifts to one another. And also, um, a reporter from um, Los Angeles, who is known by Diane Baylor, stated that exchanging gifts dates back to ancient Rome when the people would trade token gifts during the ceremony of sun worship and the new year. So, in conclusion, all behind Christmas itself, the tree, Santa Claus, Saint Nick, and exchanging gifts, all behind it itself, you are worshiping on December 25th, you are worshiping a sun god. And the sun god, it was ordered by Bishop Tiberius, December 25th, Bishop Tiberius, he was a bishop of Rome, and he ordered the people, and still today have people 
um, celebrating the sun god December 25th. So, in conclusion, Jesus Christ's birthday is not December 25th, and that people all over the world is worshiping the sun god and is keeping a pagan ritual as a holiday, which is known by Christmas. So, once again, that, that ends our conclusion. Thank you for uh, everyone participating in um, this special documentation. And everyone have a blessed day.